Today I'm going to show you how to make a new virtual switch uh, within the Hyper-V environment and this is using Windows 8.1. So I'll first open up uh, the Hyper-V manager. Within this uh, you can see over to the right there's a button for virtual switch manager so I'll click on that. You notice you can create a new virtual uh, network switch. I currently don't have any switches in here. Uh, there's three different types of switch. As you can see here uh, an external switch actually creates a virtual switch that binds to the physical network adapter um, so that you can actually access something off of the machine that you're on. Um, an internal one creates a virtual switch that can be used by the virtual machines but also uh, the host operating system which in this is Windows 8.1 but it can't access anything beyond this machine. Whereas a private is a switch that is only used between virtual machines, so not even the host operating system Windows 8.1 will be able to touch anything, it's just within um, this environment. So I want to set up one, uh, we'll say a private, that is allows uh, two different virtual machines to talk to each other. So I'd select private, um, create virtual switch. You notice here again they ask you uh, private, internal, and external. Don't know why they do that, but they do. And so we'll say, I'll just name this one private one. Um, you notice if I did select external, I'd have to select the actual controller, the actual physical NIC that I was going to uh, con uh, connect to. Um, and then you'd also want to allow the management network to share this network adapter, otherwise your uh, host operating system would not be able to get to the internet. Not a good thing. Um, again, internal and private, since they're only on this local network, they don't have to be have an actual network card that's in the machine. So I'm just going to do a private and click on OK. Uh, I'll do apply. It should name it private. You'll notice up here that now we have a new switch named private one, which is a private virtual switch. Click OK, and we now have a new virtual switch. And that's how you create a virtual switch. Um, using uh, Hyper-V Manager. 